morning all of you okay let's start with the <clears throat> next syllabic point okay yesterday we have finished the information system development and the uh, project management okay in that uh, topic we have studied the what do you mean by the information system development uh, various phases of the information system development then what is project what is project management and yesterday only we have covered the need of the project management okay now today our next topic is, is related with the <coughs> managing the data resources okay now up till now we have studied the everything details related with the what do you mean by the information system in that we have studied and so also also we have compare the traditional information system and the modern information system and nowadays we are focusing on the modern information system that is nothing but the computerized information system also we have studied the <coughs> resources required or the components of the uh, modern information system which are the components of the modern information system components of the information system are which yes we have studied in the first unit components of the information system which are the components <coughs> yes hardware hardware software, software hardware, hardware, hardware hardware people's data network etc etc correct now in that one of the uh, important resource is nothing but the data okay and our today session is related with the managing the data resource okay managing in the sense how you control or handle the particular that important resource that is the data okay now if you see the kind of data available nowadays and the kind of data which were available before 10 years which data is more if you compare the today's data available as compared to the data which were available before 10 years which data is more yes today's data is huge and that's why we are referring the today's kind of data available in the market as a big data okay so huge amount of data is available and as we know for the information system the main resource is nothing but the data okay now in the industry field or in the business field as you can see there is a rapid growth there is a huge growth in the industry field from the last 10 years or the 20 years we can see and also there is a role of the computer has also increased all of you are agree Yes, yes, sir. sir. Yes. So there, I have written the first statement here. The rapid growth in the industrialization and the computerization has created. Now, as a you can see, the data has increased. The managing that data is also one particular challenge we are we are having. Correct. Yes. Okay. So in case of the information system, our main source is uh, main resource is nothing but the data. and as the data is increasing in high amount our main challenge in front of information management or information system management is nothing but managing this particular high amount of data or managing this huge amount of data okay now you can see in any business okay in any business okay or any any industry okay there are the different functional department are you there okay functional department in the sense you can see there are the sales department correct then we have the purchase department 
then we have the manufacturing department okay marketing department likewise finance hr department administration etc etc these all the departments are referred as the functional department of certain industry or the business okay got the point now consider in this business we are utilizing the information system okay and each of this each of this department each of this department are having the information system for their use okay getting the situation each of these departments are having their information system for use okay now my question to you the data which is available at this department data which is available at this department at this at this different department okay from where the data will be get collected for this different department that is my question <clears throat> okay first you need to understand each of this department is having the information system all of you are agree yes sir now so my question is what as we know the information system can give you the better result if it is having the data available it process that data and we get the good information okay now my question from where this different functional department will get the data what will be the source of data what will be the source of data for all this department that is my question yes you got the meaning of source of data source of data means what yes source of data apla data mail ha mag ya sagya he je veg veg department ahet yanna data kutun milnar hai that is my question karan ite ja information system ahet yanna data jar milal nahi tar tya work kartel ka vyavasthit no no so from where they will get the data that is my question what will be the source of data for all this department yes what will be the source of data for all this department now each of this department is having their different role function correct okay all these department are having their different functions or they are functioning in the same way different function different function so data need to be need data need needed for them will also be different yes sir okay and so our next point is nothing but related with this functional all functional department that we have just shown you the data is being collected from the different sources okay from different sources okay and which are that different sources here i have mentioned that different sources from where data is being collected for this different functional department now which are the different sources general surveys conducted by that businesses general surveys surveys from the customer vendor supplier here you can take the example of mobile companies okay now even if you go to the any uh, uh, online site of the mobile company they used they used to ask you your feedback about their product yes sir that is nothing but the review that is nothing but the kind of survey they are doing yes or no yes sir so the review given by you or feedback given by the customer is nothing but the kind of data correct yes sir so that is nothing but the main source of data for these different departments as i mentioned here that is the general surveys articles written by the different businessmen articles in the sense like okay related with the businesses books written by the different scientists related with the businesses social sites can social site is also the source of data for the businesses yes sir yes because on the different social yes, site like the twitter facebook whatsapp etc etc on this different social site people are used to share their views about certain product so that also become the source of data different websites this is also the source of data various kind of shopping sites like as i said the amazon flipkart etc etc and the customer reviews on that government records related with the different products companies etc technical magazines 
I hope you are getting the meaning of technical magazines. Yes. What do you mean by the technical magazines? Yes. Technical magazine means what? Hmm. Technical magazines or business magazines. Magazines in the sense what? Magazines. Have you read the magazines? Any kind of magazines? Marathi, Hindi. Have you read? Yes. Magazines means what? Tejas. Yes. Huh? Dictionary. Dictionary. Yes, Suraj. लेडीज सा डेटा कविता or the business magazines are what where the different scientists or the different authors have expressed their views related with the business product etc etc kadhi tari library madhe jao aplan te to vichara tanna ki amala magazines vachayche computer science related got the point when you come into the college do the first thing is go to the library and ask them i we want to read some kind of magazines related with the computer science will you do that Yes. 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 You know, my dear, you have you have library, my dear, magazines, I have computer science related. Yes, sir. Kadi gela hai kuni? Tumi watch lete kadi magazines the? Nay, kadi is nay. Now this is very important things, guys. Okay, you must <clears throat> read these extra things related with the our uh, branch. Okay, different branches having their different technical magazines available. So. same way related with the businesses also different kind of magazines are available where i told you where different business man author scientist have share their views related with the businesses product etc etc that also is one of the source of data financial newspapers is also one of the great source of data do you know the any kind of financial newspaper yes do you know the any kind of financial newspaper Hmm. Yes, What is? Yes, Damdade. Yes, Have you heard about the Economic Times? Damdade, yes, switch off your mic. Yes. Have you heard about the Economic Times newspaper? I click on. जैसे आपले मराठी मध्य न्यूज पेपर लोकमत पुडारी लोक लाइक दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स सो रिलेटेड विद द बिजनेस देर इज अ पॉप्युलर न्यूज पेपर यूज टू बी पब्लिश एवरी डे दैट इज द इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स आई एम गिविंग द एग्जांपल आफ्टर दिस फिनिशिंग ऑफ द लेक्चर यू मस्ट सर्च ऑन द इंटरनेट ऑन द इंटरनेट ऑल्सो यू कैन रीड दिस काइंड ऑफ न्यूज पेपर इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स ओके सो माय पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वॉट दीज आर द वेरियस सोर्सेस ऑफ डेटा यू गॉट दिस पॉइंट sources of data yes sir so from these various sources data is collected for these all the different functional department okay now after data is collected main thing is nothing but how this data is get manage how this data is get handle 
using that information system by that particular business or the company if that if all this data is not get handled properly not get managed properly then we will not able to get the correct result the correct output that we are expecting from the information system got this point okay so after collection of this all this data it is very important thing to handle or to manage this data in the particular way because as already we have discussed number of times the success of any business or the organization or industry depends on what they do with that particular data what success depends on what what they actually do with that particular data if data is available in the huge amount but that data is not get handled managed analyzed properly will that business company will get the benefit of that data that is my question yes if data collected from the various sources if not get handled analyze manage properly will that company will get the benefit of that data no sir no so that is that is the point i am mentioning here success of any business organization depends on how they handle that data manage that data analyze that data understood so here i have mentioned the organization effectiveness effectiveness depends on ability of that business enterprises to store that data organize that data and manage that different data which is now available okay now the point we have just discussed before each function there are the different functional departments are there okay like i have mentioned uh, sales purchase then accounting finance etc right so these are we are these are the various functional department now can it it will is it possible that this different functional department may have in some cases they may have same kind of data available everywhere it can happen or not what i said there are the different uh, functional department like sales okay purchase financial accounting etc etc he sagra department he jo functional department ahe yacha madhe aso hou shakta ka kadhi kadhi ki tyancha kade sagra department kade kai tari ek same data available asu shakto aso hou shakta ka as we know the different departments having their different functionality but sometimes it can happen and it happen number of times different departments may have some sort of data i am not i am not talking about the all the data all data is same for all these departments all data is available as the same for all these department some kind of data might be available to the different department which is same like we can say information related with the customer name of the customer his mobile number etc etc so some kind of data might be available to the different to to this different department as the same kind of data now if this same kind of data is available to this different department now what is the challenge to handle this data and if this same kind of data is available is it the beneficial thing or the it is the disadvantages thing yes what i'm saying if same kind of data some in some sort not all the data in some some kind of data is available to this different department as a what same copy of that data then is it the beneficial or the disadvantages yes disadvantages na if if there is a same kind of data not all the data okay this is important not all the data some sort of data okay consider 10% of data is available as a same for all these department then it is nothing but the data redundancy yes or no yes sir what do you mean by the data redundancy the duplication duplication same kind of data is available some kind of some sort of same kind of data is available in the different de functional department that is called as what the data redundancy so it is it is not the beneficial so the challenge 
one main challenge in case of the handling or managing the data resources is what to manage that this kind of same kind of data from the different department and now how it can be managed i mean to manage these we need to collect the data from these multiple system yes or no what we need to do we need to, we need to collect the data from these multiple system okay and build the single set of data from this you are getting my point yes how can how we can manage this kind of problem of data redundancy yes how we can manage this by collecting the data from these multiple system yes or no yes sir as a single set of data he has a sagla he has ata miss jasa tumhala sangitle ki multiple system kutha ahet multiple departments madhe ahet tar tya multiple department cha data apan kay karnar ekas thikani collect karnar you are getting my point yes sir tar ma ekas thikani collect kela nantar data redundancy rahil ka tith no sir nahi na mag tyacha var aplyala ek different operation perform kara lagtil that we study next but one main challenge available related with the managing the data resources what if such kind of data redundancy is there as the same same copy of data is available in the different functional department then in order to handle that it is required to collect these all the data from multiple system as a single set of data on the single system understood then that kind of data redundancy problem can be handled now my question is what data redundancy can happen or not in the today's now huge amount of data is getting collected related with that data redundancy can occur or not before collecting it to the single system that is question yes if the data is collected from the different sources just we have discussed for the different departments different functional departments data redundancy will happen or not yes so data redundancy will happen because that is not when we are going to analyze the data when that all the data will collected together then we are going to analyze the data understood so initially that all the data is we are going to collect that is nothing that is going to be the data in that data redundancy might be there duplication might be there incorrectness might be there irrelevantness might be there yes or no yes yes sir so we have to so managing all these things what data duplication irrelevantness incorrectness duplication that is nothing but the managing the data resources data resources got the point yes sir yes so one 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 solution that we are discussing here to collect these all the data from multiple system as a single set of data okay next we will discuss related with that uh, uh, techniques of managing this data okay and so same thing i have mentioned here the business organization or enterprises has to ensure that it does not use the multiple version of the same piece of data in different parts of its operation so in order to avoid these things it is required to merge these records into the ah bhai this is a very important statement so in order to avoid this part which part to it, utilizing the multiple versions of the same piece of data in different parts of its operation how it can be avoided merging these all the records into the single authenticated master file got the point yes data from this multiple system has to be done what has to be merge merge in the sense what merging means what combine sir combine all data all data combine kar mag to jo all data combine kela jata tela ek naav dile jata this is a technical name for this single authenticated master file what single single authenticated master file and where this single authenticated master file will be there on the server in short got the point yes sir on the main computer and from this main computer data will be shared to the all the functional department it will be like this let me let me show you let me show you this will be your single authenticated file on this computer 
from this it will be get shared to the different functional department is it the is it the beneficial yes or no yes sir yes it is data redundancy duplication hoil ka nahi honar no it is security provide karne easy hoil ka yes डिफरंट फंक्शनल डिपार्टमेंट सिक्यूरिटी प्रोवाइड करने सिंगल सिस्टम प्रोवाइड करने विच इज द मोर बेनिफिशियल यस विच इज सिंगल सिस्टम अपन हियर वी कैन हियर वी कैन गिव द बेटर सिक्यूरिटी शेयरिंग इत इजी हो नहीं द शेयरिंग विल बिकम इजी यस और नो यस सर यस सो दैट इज द मेन मेन वॉट वी कैन से आस्पेक्ट ऑफ मैनेजिंग द data if the data is present on multiple system there might be the chances of the data redundancy duplication etc etc now to avoid that all the data must be get merged together and it is being referred as a single authenticated master file so that is the one good approach to handle the or manage the data resource okay so here i have mentioned the same thing once the master file is in place once we create the master file the employees and all the application can easily access this single view of the enterprise data understood now these all the things we are possible no, we are not possible in the traditional information system traditional information system madhe asa karta ala asta ka sanga mala no sir no because there are no utilization of the computer all these things become possible because now we have the computer to be get utilized understood and now after collecting this data at a one place in the single master authenticated file these data need to be reorganized into the certain standard format rules it need to be get analyze update etc etc so after collecting this data at this single master file there is a need to perform different operation on this data that is the main way of managing the data okay what now consider we have collected this data at the single place now it will get shared to the different departments now before it gets shared to the different departments different operation need to be performed on this data because data is what what is the definition of data we have seen is the data is directly usable no sir no data is the raw form it on in order to make that data usable we need to perform different operation on that data using the different kind of techniques understood and that is nothing but our next point of discussion here you can see managing the data resource consist of these following important techniques as i told you now data is available at the single place or getting available getting collected now next thing is nothing but we need to manage that data now when we are when you are when you are collecting this data together there is a different techniques are being need to be get performed different operation need to be get performed and that is nothing but the main way of managing the data resource now which are that techniques when you are collecting this data together and when you are analyzing this data which are that different techniques that techniques are nothing but the techniques for the managing data resource now which are the techniques in that first technique related with the managing the data source my data resource is nothing but what data migration what data migration what do you mean by the data migration din data migration is one of the technique of managing the data resource what is your view related with the data migration migration means what yes migration means what the data ha huh, yes data transfer from one place to another barobar na as i said if you want to collect data at center place as i said if you want to collect data at this center place first thing that we need to perform is what data migration yes or no yes so data migration is nothing but what process of moving the data from one location to the another so as i said these are the various separate departments are there functional departments yes as i said in order to avoid that data duplication redundancy etc etc what we need we need to collect the data from different department got the point yes or no yes sir 
and when you collect this data from different departments from different location that 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 technique is called as what data migration got the point yes sir so that this is the first technique of managing the data resource data migration so in this different department it is is it possible that data might be present in another format correct yes or no with this yes, department sir. data might be available in the different format in different syntax it can happen or not yes sir yes. so yes, sir. data migration also consist of transforming the data from one format into the another format what the point yes sir so this is nothing but the first technique of managing the data resource that is the data migration process of moving data from one location to the another so same thing i have mentioned here so this this uh, result of this nothing but uh, when we actually when we need to perform the data migration when we uh, have the new computers available or when we change the location of data in num in that case and when you are collecting the data together from the multiple system in that every case we need to do the data migration if you want to change the format of data from one format to the another format in that case also there is a need to perform the data migration understood in one more important case the data migration get perform and that is nothing but this i have mentioned here and this is nowadays is getting performed now when you change the premise infrastructure of your infor information system when you change the infrastructure premise of your information system means what now what do you mean by the changing the infrastructure premise of your information system what is the meaning of this changing the infrastructure premise of your information system what is the meaning of this let me give the example now you have the company you are using the information system there there are the different functional system uh, functional department okay and uh, initially you need to collect the data from all these functional department that is the case of the data migration etc etc now what is the case of this uh, uh, change in the infrastructure premise now you are storing the data on the server which is present in your company i am calling as a master file here yes and from here the data is getting shared in the different department okay this is the case we are studying now consider you want to put that data on the cloud yes all of you are getting me instead of putting this data on the physical machine which is available on, available in your company instead of that you want to put data on where on the cloud what is meaning of this yes yes sir can we utilize the data which is put on the cloud for our company yes sir बरोबर ना इथं मी काय सांगतो की आपल्या कंपनी मधल्या फिजिकल सर्व्हर वर डेटा ठेवण्यापेक्षा आपण कुठे ठेवतोय क्लाउड वर क्लाउड म्हणजे काय वॉट इज क्लाउड येस वॉट इज मिनिंग ऑफ क्लाउड येस काय तेजस ऑनलाईन डेटा आपण आपण काय करतोय आपले मशीन युज न करता इंटरनेट वर कुठे तरी आपण ते काय करतोय आपला डेटा स्टोअर करतोय यू आर गेटिंग द पॉइंट इज इट दॅट इज नथिंग बट द चेंज इन द इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रिमाइस येस ऑर नो येस हिअर वी आर युटिंग द इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अवर कंपनी इट सेल्फ हिअर यू आर युजिंग द इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑफ विच इज अवेलेबल ऑन द इंटरनेट दॅट मेट बी प्रोवाइड बाय द डिफरंट कंपनीज दॅट दॅट इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज नथिंग बट द cloud based storage you are utilizing here i have mentioned what you are utilizing cloud based storage and when when you have to shift from your your own company server to cloud is there the requirement of the data migration that is my question yes yes sir require रिक्वायर ना आपल्याकडे जर तो आपल्याला तिथे ट्रान्सफर करावा लागेल ना डेटा गेटिंग द पॉइंट येस सर सो दॅट इज नथिंग बट द वन ऑफ द टेक्निक रिलेटेड टू द मॅनेजिंग द डेटा सोर्स दॅट इज व्हॉट डेटा मायग्रेशन आय होप ऑल ऑफ यू हॅव गॉट दिस पॉइंट येस 
Yes, sir. Okay, let's move to the next point. Second important technique is the data reconciliation. Have you heard the word reconciliation before this? Now, in the previous case, we have seen the data migration. Data migration can be required even you are not moving the data to the cloud also. Yes or no? I told you the two cases where the data migration required. One case is what? One case when you are collecting the data from the different functional department. Barubar? Second case, second case, what is it? तुमचा कंपनी मधला सर्वर वर डेटा ठेवायचा नाही कुठे ठेवायचा आहे क्लाउड वर ठेवायचा तिथे सुद्धा डेटा मायग्रेशन रिक्वायर्ड यस यस नाउ सेकंड टेक्निक इज क्वाइट रिलेटेड विद द फर्स्ट टेक्निक दैट इज द डेटा रिकन्सिलेशन व्हिच इज नथिंग बट एज यू आर मूविंग द डेटा वी टेक वी कॅरी ऑन द विथ एग्जांपल ऑफ डेटा मायग्रेशन एग्जांपल ऑफ फ्रॉम द आवर कंपनी सर्वर टू द क्लाउड बेस क्लाउड बेस सर्वर ओके एज यू आर मूविंग द डेटा फ्रॉम युअर कंपनी server and the system to the cloud now it is required whether the same data which is available here is being get transferred here or is there any change is there any changes happen in this data as compared with this data he verification karna garjecha ahe ki nahi what do you think yes sir garjecha karan apan itun jave data move karnar e migrate karnar e kuta cloud var तो डेटा इंटरनेट थ्रू ट्रांसफर होना है यू आर गेटिंग माय पॉइंट यस सर मग तो डेटा मध्य चेंज हो नहीं कुछ कर चेंजेस होता नहीं डेटा मे हो दैट इज द पॉइंट वेअर द डेटा रिकन्सिलेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड दैट इज नथिंग बट इट इज डेटा रिकन्सिलेशन इज डिफाइन एज वॉट द प्रोसेस ऑफ वेरिकेशन वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ डेटा ड्यूरिंग द डेटा माइग्रेशन गेटिंग द पॉइंट Yes, sir. Simple thing. Let me tell you. It is nothing but the comparison of the source data with the destined data. Yes or no? Upon yes, data sir. transfer, करतो है, migrate करतो है. या position वरुण, या position ला, या location ला. Yes or no? Correct. We are migrating data yes, from here to here. so it is yes all of you get connect again now what what second technique we are discussing related with the managing the data that is the data reconciliation yes tell me what we understood the data reconciliation the data transfer karthana the ha ata apan pahile technique 100% transfer technique apan kai discuss kele ki data migration tithe kay hota ki we need to collect the data from different departments that is the called as the data migration or even if you want to transfer the data on the cloud if you want to use the cloud service that is also called as the data migration so during this data migration it is required to verify whether the same data is being transfer from this location to this location yes or no yes sir whether there are any changes happen if any changes can the changes happen yes or no Yes, sir. changes can happen because if any body hacker or the cracker try to uh, crack your system and try to make the changes in system he can he can completely change your data it can happen or not yes sir it happen ani jar tani change kela tar aplyala benefit milel ka tya company na information system kadun je benefit milnar hote te benefit miltil ka no sir no sir so that is nothing but the concept of data reconciliation it is the process of verifying the data which is transfer from the source location to the destination what the point yes sir so here same thing i have mentioned in this process in which process reconciliation process target data target data kutla apla it yes or no in this case 
correct this is the target data and this is the source data yes yes sir so yes, sir. it is the process where the target data is compared with the source data to ensure that the migration has done transferring of data correctly understood ata me jasa tumhala sangitle ki first case ki he different aple functional department hai barobar all of you are able to see yes yes all of you can able to see this diagram yes sir yes sir he kay ata mi first case kay sangitli hoti tumhala ki he ap functional department madun apan data kuthe geto agodar main file la master file yes or no yes sir मग इथून ह्या ह्या सेपरेट फंक्शनल डिपार्टमेंट कडून ज्यावेळेस आपण डेटा इथं कलेक्ट करतो त्यावेळेस सुद्धा डेटा रिकन्सिलेशन प्रोसेस रिक्वायर्ड आहे की नाही सांगा मला आहे ना कारण इथं इथं काय होईल हा टार्गेट होईल टार्गेट डेटा आणि हे काय होतील सगळे सोर्स होतील करेक्ट सो हिअर ऑल्सो देर इज अ नीड ऑफ द डेटा reconciliation so data i hope all of you have got the point reconciliation is nothing but the verification of data during the migration of data second technique understood yes then let's move to the next that is the data consolidation that already we have discussed uh, the only the here the technical name is given data consolidation that is nothing but what as we know the data is generated from the various sources collecting this data in different format together that is nothing but the called as the data consolidation consolidation in the sense combining that data together okay at some single location which is also referred as the data warehouse or the data lake i hope all of you have heard about the word data warehouse what do you mean by data warehouse यस डेटा स्टोर करने डेटा एका ठिकाणी स्टोर करने बरोबर यस योगेश डेटा वेअर स्टोर करने एकाच ठिकाणी काय करणे डेटा त्यालाच काय म्हणतात डेटा कन्सोलिडेशन दॅट इज ऑल्सो रिफर्ड एज ऑट द डेटा कन्सोलिडेशन दॅट इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टंट टेक्निक इन द मॅनेजिंग द डेटा रिसोर्सेस अंडरस्टूड then yes sir this is the third technique that is the okay simple collecting the data from various sources that already we have discussed together that is the data consolidation and next important thing data cleansing fourth technique what data cleansing now consider we have collected the data from different sources together okay now don't get confused between the data consolidation and the data migration can anybody tell me the what difference is there or both are the same thing yes what i am asking what is the difference between the data consolidation and the data migration both are the same thing both are same thing same thing yes anybody want to say both are the same things no sir no sir then yes gayatri what is the difference no. uh, sir um ha ah, yes carry on well before that let uh, tell me data trans consolidation agodar hoil ka migration agodar hoil migration migration ho now let me tell you take me to consolidation again see here what i told you the data consolidation is nothing but data is generated from many disparate sources first point that we have discussed from which sources data is getting generated 
म्हणजे कुठले सोर्सेस आपण जे इनिशियली बघितले ते बरोबर ना लेट मी टेक दॅट पॉइंट ऑल्सो दीज आर द डिस्परेट सोर्सेस येस ऑर नो फ्रॉम युअर दस गेटिंग जनरेटेड करेक्ट ना सो डेटा कन्सुलेशन म्हणजे काय या सगळ्यांकडून डेटा कलेक्ट करणे वॉट द पॉइंट येस सर नाव यू आय होप यू यू आर गॉट द डिफरन्स बिटवीन द कन्सुलटेशन अँड द मायग्रेशन बरोबर ना कन्सुलटेशन म्हणजे काय की त्या सगळ्या सोर्स करून डेटा काय करणे कलेक्ट करणे आणि मग मायग्रेशन त्याच्यानंतर होईल ना गेटिंग बाय पॉइंट हे जे डिफरंट डिपार्टमेंट आहेत जे सेल्स म्हणा पर्चेस म्हणा त्याच्यानंतर अकाउंटिंग म्हणा त्या सगळ्यांना अगोदर डेटा कलेक्ट करावा लागेल ना त्याला म्हणायचं डेटा कन्सुलेशन गेटिंग पॉइंट आणि मग कलेक्ट केल्यानंतर ज्या वेळेस तुम्ही तो एकत्र करता कशाकडून ह्या डिफरंट डिपार्टमेंट कडून ज्या वेळेस तो डेटा ह्या सेंटरला येतो त्याला आपण काय म्हणतो मायग्रेशन वॉट द पॉइंट वॉट द डिफरन्स बिटवीन द मायग्रेशन अँड द कन्सुलटेशन विच वन हॅपन फर्स्ट कन्सुलटेशन हॅपन फर्स्ट सो प्रोसेस ऑफ आपण जे कलेक्ट करतो डेटा टू गेदर त्याला काय म्हणतो आपण कन्सुलटेशन हे तर काय पॉइंट आपण डिस्कस करतो सुरुवातीला ऑलरेडी आपण जनरल थिंग डिस्कस केल्या पण नंतर फक्त ह्या त्याच गोष्टी मी तुम्हाला काय करतोय आपण पॉइंट वाईज आय हॅव पुट दॅट थिंग्स इन द टेक्निकल टर्म्स इन द डिफरंट पॉइंट येस अँड सो अवर लास्ट टेक्निक रिलेटेड विथ द मॅनेजिंग द डेटा सो इट इज द क्लिन्सिंग इट इज वॉट डेटा क्लिन्सिंग ओके नाव डेटा क्लिन्सिंग when it happens data cleans uh, is all of you can able to see the screen i lost the screen okay. yes sir okay our last technique that is the data cleansing now it now data cleansing is the part of the analysis of data let me tell you the first point here what data cleansing is what part of the analysis of data here i have mentioned data cleansing is the process of preparing data for analysis now how what things happen in the data cleansing modifying the data that is incorrect modifying the data that is incomplete modifying the data that is irrelevant modifying the data that is the duplicated these all the things happen in the data cleansing actually this is being taken from the word data cleaning got the point yes sir so data cleansing is nothing but what doing all these things with data if some incorrect data is there need to be get modified incomplete is there need to update irrelevant is there need to make relevant if redundancy is there need to modify it again if in another format need to change the format etc so all these things happens in the data cleansing understood not these things also some important things that happen in the data cleansing that is the fixing the spelling errors syntax errors transforming into the standardized data set these different things are being done in the data cleansing got the point yes sir yes sir ja whereas data reconciliation hota tyachar antar kay kele jata data cleansing got the point this one last technique yes understood the last technique data cleansing yes sir what sir. is happening in the data cleansing sir my jo incorrect data ki wo incomplete data asta te update vagare karne is thing barobar na irrelevant asu shakto duplicated asto yes. this kind of things understood yes. second ki jar syntactical error astil error related with the spelling etc etc these all the things are happen in the data cleansing okay and one more thing is also done in the data cleansing is suppose some of the data is out of date out of dated is data is there which you can also refer as the can be data become out of out of date outdated data yes what do you mean by the outdated data yes outdated outdated data means what text 
एक्सपायर्ड एक्सपायर्ड की त्याचा आता काय आपल्याला उपयोग नाहीये देर इज नो यूज जर इफ सम काइंड ऑफ डेटा इज देअर विच इज हॅव्हिंग नो यूज तो आपण क्लाउड वर ठेवू शकतो का नो सर किंवा आपल्या आपण क्लाउड वर क्लाउड वर सपोज तुम्ही क्लाउड यूज करत नाही कंपनी क्लाउड यूज करत नाही काय त्यांचं फिजिकल सर्व्हर यूज करते तर मग आपण तो डेटा इथं सिंगल ही जी मास्टर फाईल इथं ठेवून उपयोग आहे का सांगा मला नो मग ते कशाच्या आधारे केलं जातं डेटा क्लिन्सिंग सो दॅट इज द लास्ट टेक्निक रिलेटेड विथ द मॅनेजिंग द डेटा रिसोर्स दॅट इज द डेटा क्लिन्सिंग वेअर वी प्रिपेअर द डेटा फॉर अनालिसिस बाय रिमूव्हिंग ऑर मॉडिफाईंग द इनकरेक्ट डेटा इनकम्प्लीट डेटा इरिलिव्हन्ट डेटा डुप्लिकेटेड डेटा making the uh, modification related to the spelling if it required checking the syntax etc etc these all the things happens in the data cleansing i hope all of you have got the four important techniques related with the managing the data resources yes or no all of you yes yes sir what was the first technique data migration actually first technique must be the data consolidation yes or no yes sir uh, i i wrongly just i have put that sequence but first technique must be the data consolidation yes yes sir yes, Then, yes sir second can be the data migration yes migration data reconciliation and lastly the data cleansing cleansing this question is asked number of times for the eight marks question may not be asked directly explain the uh, describe the managing the data resource you might be asked question in the different way explain the techniques of managing the data resource or for the two marks also question might be asked on these separate techniques two marks question can be asked on this single technique explain the data cleansing or explain the data migration or explain the data consolidation you are getting yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. so accordingly you need to prepare so that's it for the today's session any 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 doubt all of you in this point today we have discussed no sir okay all of you need to go through once again when you upload the video and so that you can get the more uh, clear concept okay shall we stop here now yes yes sir okay thank, thank you, you all of you thank you all of you